Hello everyone. So today I am here in front of you with a very important uh, information that is related to bark recruitment notification. So guys, as you know, bark every year uh, generally takes from two ways. One is by their own exam, other is by gate score. So this year also they have given the vacancy and uh, a number of vacancies have not yet disclosed, but there are some other information like opening date, closing date, and everything is there. And I am telling you all this. So guys, this is the complete notification which came and you know that BARC is generally having two types of program. One is OCS, second is DGFS. Uh, OCS is one year, uh, you can say one year training kind of program and uh, DGFS is a kind of two year MTech program at IITs. So guys, if you are not aware of this orientation program OCS and DGFS, you can write in the comment section. We will be coming up with a live session where we will tell you the difference between both the programs. Okay. Otherwise, all the details are mentioned in this and I will be sharing this, um, you can say, uh, this document in the Telegram channel where you can download it and see if you want to have all the details. They have also mentioned what kind of percentage you have to score during these programs, all these things, the locations, everything is mentioned. So guys, whenever we are talking about these programs, first of all, I would like to tell you that they have also mentioned that if you are joining there as a scientist, and you are going through these programs there where you are going to study or get the training. So uh, you have to serve for the three years minimum. Otherwise, you have to pay this uh, service bond. They have mentioned it also. OK, and guys, they have also mentioned about that whatever the amount you are going to get at siphon during the study period. OK, like 55,000 per month is mentioned there during the training. And also they have mentioned you will get like for book allowance. And if you are going for DGFS MTech there, you will get uh, uh, contingency grant also for 40,000. So all these things are mentioned there. So guys, after that, I'll be coming on to the, uh, the process of uh, selection. So guys, here also they have mentioned the grade pay. Grade pay is as per the Indian government level 10, 56,100. And there also they have mentioned you will get some HRA and all depending on the location. Okay. So uh, also they have mentioned that uh, during your training or your MTech program, based on your performance, you will get some increments. Uh, some may get three, two to three increments. Some may get three to four increments. So based on that increments, also your uh, you can say package will vary. And guys, they have mentioned as the scholarship, uh, sorry, as the selection process. Like you can either go for the written test or you can go for the gate score. By both the ways, you can be selected for the interview. And after getting into inter interview, you know, bar conduct a very good level of interview. And then the selection is entirely based on that interview. And interviews are. Uh, very high level, I will say. And also, if you want help for that, uh, those technical interview, we will be coming up live for those sessions also, where we can help you and with the students who have already qualified that, uh, who were our classroom students also, so that you get the information, what kind of questions they are asking. As I said, good level means you you must have good uh, info, good knowledge, because they are related to the scientist post. So definitely, level of question should be good. And uh, they are very nice interviews if you will uh, talk about these interviews. Now, let us see about the eligibility criteria. For engineers, BE, BTEC are eligible with 60%. If you are having MTech 5 year integrated program, then also you are eligible for this. Uh, BSc students uh, from engineering are also eligible. And guys, if you are going for GATE, then GATE 2022 and 2023. Both scores are eligible. So if you have uh, done in 2022, then also you will be eligible. Okay. So for different branch also, they have mentioned all the things like uh, where should, the location they have mentioned, the course they have mentioned, because uh, you will be applying for different, different course. So all are mentioned in this table. Okay. The age limit when we are talking about for general category, it is 26 years. For OBC non criminal it is 29 years. For SCST, it is 31 years. Whenever we are talking about the fees, 500 rupees have to be paid uh, that is non-refundable and that will be not required from SCST candidates and women candidates. Okay. So guys, uh, they have also mentioned this, that candidate graduating in the academic year 20 to 23 means if you are in final year and if you are completing your BTEC in 23, you are eligible. But before December, you need to show the completion of degree. Okay, all the documents you have to show by December 23. So that is also mentioned guys. They have also mentioned about some branches which are not eligible. So for that also I would like to tell you about the branches which are not eligible. 
so the branches like uh, aerospace uh, you can say aerospace automobile uh, then automotive then aeronautical engineering industrial production reliability ceramic so these all are the branches which are not eligible for the post so guys those who have done their btech from these branch need not to apply and as um, i am saying the age should be 26 years but at which date so date is mentioned as on august 2023 if you are less than 26 then you can definitely apply that okay then there is some ad after that i am coming on to this uh, discipline they have also mentioned the important dates launching of online application on the portal will be 1st february so we have given you information much before that then last date will be on 2nd march to apply online test will be on 1st and 2nd april already gate would have been completed results already will be there with you so guys now you can also apply by both okay with the written test plus with the gate you can apply for both as well then my dear online test will be on 1st and 2nd april last date uh, uh, to upload the gate score will be 24th march and display of list of candidate with that short list it is 24th april and availability based option on online application will be 24th to 6th May. Selection interview will be 16 May to 16 June. Then display of list of candidates for OCES will be 7 July. Then for DGFS will be 10th July. And then declaration of list of applications applicants selected will be 4th week of July. And commencement of OCES will be from 7th August 2023. I'll be sharing these documents in the telegram channel of Baiju's exam prep. So you can download it from there and guys i feel such notifications will continue to come and we will be always coming live whenever these things will come so to get all these information stay tuned with us and uh, just subscribe the channel if you have not done yet goodbye for the timing we'll be coming up as the number of vacancies comes we will be telling you that also goodbye